Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another Summer Craft Party video. Today I have a really patriotic easel card for you. This is my 4th of July easel card. This is what the card looks like when it's folded flat, and then it pops up here to show the Happy Independence Day sentiment. There's a spot on the inside for your message. And of course I include an envelope as well. This card is really easy to put together and I can't wait to show it to you. So take a look at the materials list and let's get started. Step one, get the SVG cut file. This project was part of Summer Craft Party 2024. To get the cut file for this project, you can purchase the VIP access pass that includes instant lifetime access to the entire 12-day event, plus bonus cut files, printable worksheets, and commercial licensing. Get more information on the VIP access pass at thebeardedhousewife.com scp24. If you're interested in only this project, you can purchase the individual cut file in my shop. I have links to both options in the description box below. No matter which option you choose, you'll want to make sure you download the cut file, unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we have a new project open in Cricut Design Space, we can click Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click open and upload. Highlight the image and click add to canvas. Step three, convert score lines and any text. Now that the project has been brought into our canvas, we can ungroup the design. We have some converting to do to some of the score lines, so let's scroll down the layers panel and find the envelope. Click on this little icon to drop down the layers, highlight the score lines, change those to score, highlight the group, and attach. And we need to do the same thing for the card base. Click on that icon, highlight the score lines, change those to score, highlight the group, and attach. Once those two pieces have been converted, we can go ahead and click Make It. And you can see the different mats for this card. Click Continue. I'll be using a variety of medium weight cardstock for this card. I'm going to go ahead and get everything all cut out, and I will see you when it's time to assemble. Step 4. Cut out the design. Step 5. Assemble your card. Okay, now that I have everything all cut out, it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fold and burnish the card base. And 
and I'm going to set that to the side for just a few minutes. Okay, next let's go ahead and layer the front cover panel. Now I do have a layering guide within the download that will help visualize how to layer all of this together. But really quick, I'll go through the different layers. From back to front, you're gonna start with the solid white, then the lighter red, the lighter blue, the white layer with the balloons, the red layer with the balloons, the blue layer with the balloons, the solid blue capital building, and then the lighter blue capital building. Lastly, we have the dark blue layer, and then you can add some fireworks as well. Like I said, refer to that layering guide so that you can really take a look at how to layer this together. I'm gonna to speed up the video just a little bit while I put everything together, and I will show you what it looks like when I'm all done. All right, there is our fun front cover panel. I'm gonna set that to the side for just a minute. Let's go ahead and mat and layer our little sentiment layer here. There we go. Set that one to the side. And now let's mat and layer our messaging panel. All right, now that all of our pieces have been layered together, it's time to go ahead and put all of this together and finish up our card. The first thing I'm going to do is add the messaging panel to the inside. Now I'm gonna place this right between those two score lines on the card base. Now we'll go ahead and close the card base up. And I'm gonna add glue everywhere below this score line. Now I'll we'll take our front cover panel and just line up the edges. and give that bottom section a press. And that looks good. I'm gonna flip the card open and I will take some of my foam squares here. I'm gonna place the foam on the back of the sentiment layer that says Happy Independence Day. And now, right where this hole is here in the center, that's where we're going to center the uh, sentiment layer. I have it that way just so that you can use either a brad, if you want to use a different kind of embellishment, or just use it as a placement guide, which is what I'm going to do. That looks about good. And now, the card will stand up just like that. 
I'm gonna set that to the side while everything dries. Let's go ahead and make the envelope really quick. For the envelope, we're gonna fold and burnish along the score lines. Take our inlay panel and add glue along the outer edge. Place the inlay over the cutout on the envelope flap. Spin the envelope around. Now because there are some good layers to this card and with those foam squares that really added some dimension, I'm going to suggest that you place the card inside the envelope and then bring your side flaps in. Add glue to the bottom of the side flaps. With your thumbs, go ahead and push up and press. And by doing that, by placing the card inside of the envelope, you're ensuring that there is enough space for it once everything is all sealed up. And our card is all set. How neat was this card? I know that some of the pieces were pretty intricate and pretty small cuts, but overall the card is really easy to put together. And I hope that you like it. If you make this card, I hope that you share it with me. Whether that be through email or through our Facebook group, I would love to see your creations. That's going to do it for today. I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife, and I will see you at the next Summer Craft Party video. Bye bye